Hello, welcome back to the channel. So. so, we've got this here. Hello, welcome back TD5 fans. We are about to look under the Discovery 2, the one we've just bought for a project. Um, it's up in the air, I've already put it up, we haven't started looking yet. So we're going to look around now and you're going to join us. So it's up in the air. We don't, I don't think we need a light, do we? We're more right. Oh, it's got poly bushes. Yeah, and the front one's been done, isn't it? It's been poly bushed on the radius arms there, which is nice. Um, the airbags, even though it's on its arse, the airbags look pretty new. And I'm pretty sure he did say they was done. And, do they look like Land Rover airbags? Or on this, oh, yeah, sure. Um, so, one bad thing I can say right away is underneath this bump stop, it started to go there, so, oh, rusty snow. So we can see there, this side has been patched here. Looks like it's been done for an MOT. It looks pretty solid though, it's a solid patch. Mm -hmm. Steps, um... It looks like it's had the tank out to do it. Yeah. You reckon? It's welded up, up there. It's welded, well, yeah, it's welded along there. They've got to have done it, though. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought that they'd, they'd have melted the tank. No. Got, yeah, got it's got to have had it done. This side, the rear quarter's solid. This side, though, apart from where we get up to the bump stop. Um, what else we got? We've got dust covers, back plates on the discs. This looks relatively new compared to the other one. There. Um... It looks like it's been under sale before. Look, if you look at the yeah. um, the boot floor, it's been under sealed on the, the boot floor, but the chassis itself could have done with being redone again. Like I said, the ice has been disconnected, yes. but everything's still there. The rams and everything are still there, as you can see. Um, what's it look like there, Dad? Well, on the back of the... It, it looks good. Normally it goes up there on the back of the tank, but... The last two we've done... <laughs> We've had to do all yeah, that. Yeah, that bit, but that's that's okay on this one. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, this side of the radius arms look on the front, poly bushed as well. Um, in there is your air pump, so we might have to have a look at that. In fact, the top's off it. Uh -huh. Somebody's already been looking at it. And that's off as well, look. Oh, that, is that a melted plug? It looks like it's off here, from somewhere. Okay. Oh, is it, that's an air, airline. Look. Oh. That, It'll never work with that disconnect. <laughs> yeah, well, no. It looks like it's like melted off or something, Darry. Yeah. Look at the end of that. All rubbed off. I don't know. Rubbing it off. Well, that's it. Well, we can see straight away we've got a problem there. So at least we've located something that, that could well be the issue. We need to find out whether this pump works <laughs> and if it's just the piping that's the problem. The outriggers look okay they normally go in that area as and do all these body, that one. All these body mounts and yeah all good as well um we've got a leak on the transfer box here just by the um whatever this is called handbrake prop shafts no movement in the universal joints the rubber donut i ain't talking about josh i'm talking about this <laughs> looks good um, level the height level sensors that one's still connected and plugged in. This is where it's got a leak from the ice. Look, then pipes completely crowded. But he said ice has been removed, it's had a new belt, um, and pulley, and the, the ice pump has been removed. So, I'm hoping that's the truth. And we'll remove all these gubbins off there. Um, let's have a look at this. It's been under seal with that horrible, sticky crap. Um, Chassis at the front looks good. We can see that at some point the arch has been done there. Um, so that's all nice. We ain't got that much welding for a change. We've normally got to completely rebuild them. Um, that's a so weird boot there. This has got, looks like an aftermarket welded on there bit of a weird one yeah have, have a look at this dad tell me in the comments if you know if somebody makes this or if it's been bodged together but 
we've got a couple of like um, D style clamps yeah. on this steering rod. It looks like maybe it's a heavy duty one, adjustable. That's polybushed. It could be. It's also it? very wet. So it's got. Yeah, I've never seen one like that. It's a bit leaky like up there. Yeah, it but is. It's definitely oil and not diesel. So that's a bit leaky. Fog lights are clear. Sorry if you can't see nothing, you know what it's like. I'm, I'm looking with my eyes and not through the camera. Um, that shock's not too old. It's starting to rust a bit. That looks, Maybe that one. Drippy over there. That looks pretty as uh, if it's just been changed. Oh yeah, the starter. Yeah. yeah really? Looks like something might have been done with the starter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've got bump stops on the front. But the chassis all seems good up the front, don't we? Yeah. And it's had the uh, arches done. It's had both arches in that area there, both, on both of them done. This is off the main pipe. That's off so the main, yeah. The, yeah, the pipe comes in there. This is melted. That would have been in the top of the pump. That fits in the yeah. top of the pump. But we've never really... Um, For some reason. I we've never know. really gone into the pump, have we? There's definitely been something hot. Yeah, I along know. Here. Yeah, I mean, it, it's going to be something off the pump that's been over easy, maybe. Uh, yeah. Well, but yeah, the chassis is good. Start it and see whether the pump's running. But well, we would have we'd have heard it coming on. I, I think it ain't going to run because instantly it knows. Hang on, all my air's going out and out. So all we can do is put 12 volts to the pump probably with a probe yeah. and see if it runs like that. But you can see the wheels there. Yeah. They definitely need a good refurb, but they're going to be really nice when they're refurbed. Shut the customer. As you can see, the discs look pretty good. The no lip on them. I don't think it's been long before they've been changed. Uh, I can feel the pads. Pads. Oh, can we see them? They're almost new, look. The discs and pads on this are almost new. All the way around. I don't think it's been off road, it's always. No, and there's no mud on it, is there? No. It's pretty mudless. It's a shame about these oil leaks, it's absolutely pissing oil leaks everywhere. I know. I do, I do not like this underseal stuff, this horrible. I don't know, is it wax oil or summer? It's horrible. It's horrid. It don't actually do anything. Looks like you might have a gearbox. Well, it's oil it's oil water. Yeah. We'll give it a good wash underneath and find out where these leaks come from. The exhaust's in good nick. Just to where the surface rust. So, our main aim first is to. Oh, look at the, look at the tread on them tyres. Our main aim. Oh, it's saying our main aim, but I keep finding other things. That's gone. But it, that can be fixed, like this one has been. Somebody's welded a little panel on there and fixed that one up. Nice. Got a towel bar in it, which is nice. Yeah, we might just clean clean that up, that, that weld there, make the edges look a little bit neater. We've got one there as well, look. Put some, some just put a bit of seams here around it. I don't know how good it is, but we can clean them up with the grinder. Um, at least we are going to drop the tank on this one for a change. And at least it's got two new airbags. So we, I think the thing to do with it, okay, she's got a piece of birthday cake. The thing to do with this dad is to get it off and see if it runs eh? Yeah. See if it works. If it does work, then uh, it's obviously just a pipe issue. If it doesn't, then we'll be looking either at a rebuild or a new pump. But we'll get it. We'll have to look into it. Cause like I said, this is the first time we've we've done airbags and stuff, but it'll be the first time we've actually had to mess with the pump itself. Even though we've had a lot of them, we've got a lot of them on the road. Air issues haven't been that much. Got a few people interested in our lift over the over the time we've been using it. It's an old one, but it's a good one. It's got the power, so where it is portable. We have rebuilt it. It's had all new bearings because um, it started to make some funky noises. We need to put some bearings in, it, so we did that. Dad, have a rock of the wheels. We had done the old wheel rock. Elvis Presley. Oh. There's nothing in that one, does it? No. Does it spin? Is the handbrake on? Yeah, it spins all right. No, nothing in that one. Get to the front. You have to do it top and bottom, else it'll move with on the steering. No. 
Nah, it's just a bit of tire movement, eh? I do like these wheels. No. All good. Looks like our wheel bearings might be good. We've got no ABS lights on, but what have we got on? The, we've got the Hill, Hill Descent and Air, anyway. Yeah. Hill Descent the and the Suspension. Light the only light we've got on is the... Um, Ice. Ice one. Yeah. Yeah. All good, are they? Yeah. That's good. So, next video, this is just a quick one, but next video we will be getting on with... Um, Getting on with stuff on this, probably going to look at the air suspension first. Do you think, Dad? Yeah, I did say on one of the on the last MLT that you could have the steps put off because yeah. there were dangerous through rotten. But the mount, mounting brackets are good. Yeah. That's a massive change. Normally we have we cut them off at the brackets because the brackets have rotted. But um, yeah. brackets are good. If you could find some decent steps that you could put them back on. You could. I don't know if you. I don't know if they cut, cut them off. They just undone the thing and pulled the yeah, steps out. Bolted them and put slid them out. Yeah, they pulled the steps out of there. It, it just said they'd been removed. Mm. Because they've been rotten. I think it's been looked after. I mean, there is yeah. an extensive booklet of stuff either. I counted about four thousand pounds worth of receipts inside the car, and then it's got service history up to ninety-eight thousand miles. Mm. So it's done. It's done. No, nah, totally. the last one in the book is 2009 <laughs> in the service history. But the um, it's so it ain't done that many miles. It's 130,000 miles. So since the last major service that's been done, it's probably been servicing himself like people do. But the last one that was done at uh, actual garage um, was 2009 at 98,000 miles. So it ain't been doing bad. It has got part service history. It has been looked after. The oil is super clean. Needs an oil filter, as you seen in the last video. But um, we'll get the service stuff done. I don't think it needs an oil change because it was really nice. Um, but there you go. That's the underside of the car. It's not as crusty as anticipated. Just that one. That's it, I think, Daddy. Yeah. I think it just needs one little patch there. And then we'll tidy them up on the edges of that. Yeah. See you in the next one. See ya.